Roadhog is the most toxic, most hated, most broken, and most boring hero to play. Like, yeah, sure, getting those bullshit one-shots that shouldn't have happened is fun, but personally, playing Hog is not enjoyable in the slightest compared to most of the tanks in the game. Like, yes, part of the reason I find him so unfun to play against is probably due to excessive amounts of Hogs in my game, driving me crazy. But whenever you play him, you just feel like you're part of the problem. They are the same as every other Overwatch player, just playing Hog to get a higher rank. If you don't play much Overwatch or you just don't get why Roadhog is so broken, let me break it down. He is a character with 700 health and an ability to get half of his health back in 2 seconds while having a 50% damage reduction. But he also has a hook that can hook any hero, bring him to his face and one shot more than half the heroes in the game. In a game where the tanks aren't meant to be the main damage dealers. You can see the problem here. And he also has an ult which has a whole hog worth of damage. See what I did there? So you can see why everyone hates him so much, including me. I really don't like playing meta heroes that much. Some of my favourite heroes are Sombra and Symmetra and Zenyatta, just to name a few, which are quite non-meta picks at the moment, but I love getting good at the character to make them still work in a comp game. Like when I play Tank in Ranked, my main pick is Winton, because I find him the most fun, and when you get your team to build a team comp around Winton, then it can be so much fun. Or you can just play Hog. I will say there is one instance that I love about Hog, and it's his hook. And no, it's not the hook and hook that I love. Oh no, 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 no. It's this. I don't know what it is, but whenever I hook someone off the map, it's when I have the most fun with Roadhog. It's just so satisfying to do. My GPU is 69 degrees, right? But then my CPU is 83. And honestly, I think if Roadhog kept his hook and got a faster cooldown, like a 6 second cooldown, as well as removing his one shot, I think he'll play a much more fun and better role in the game. To basically be used as a displacement tank, which means that you can basically get your enemies to be in a position that they don't want to be in, making it easier for your team to kill them. Kinda like in this clip how I separate the enemies of Rissa into a room to finish her off without their healers helping her. I think if Roadhog got reworked to play like this, it would lead to a lot more teamwork with having Roadhog on your team, unlike now when Roadhogs on your team just typically go and do their own thing. But one of my favourite parts of Roadhog, which I think is personally the most OP part of his whole kit, is making the enemies toxic. Like no joke, like almost every single game or every other game, someone is typing in chat saying how much of a pussy you are for playing Roadhog. Or pointing out one of Roadhog's broken abilities. Fun fact, if you bind a key to toggle on and off your HUD, in between changing rounds and control point, you can actually still play the game and kill the enemies, which is pretty funny. Hog has done the most healing. But luckily for everyone, Roadhog is actually getting a rework very soon, like probably a couple days after this video comes out, which I am so excited for. I think personally, everyone would be happy to see something new for Roadhog, because he's basically been the same character since Overwatch 1 came out back in 2016, apart from some needed adjustments to his hook. So what do you guys hate more? Do you hate his self-healing more or do you hate his hook more? Personally, I think most people will say the hook, but his self-healing is really stupid as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below.
If you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed and maybe check out my Sombra video. I spent a lot of time on both of these videos, so it would mean a lot if you saw it. And see you in the next one.